Now, throughout the entire history of human being, the commonality, one thing that is common between the tribes and between the country, between races, is that we believe in something higher than us. And whether you believe Jesus, whether you believe Allah, whether you believe a bunch of gods and from Hindu, whether you believe Shinto like me, perhaps you don't believe in God, but you believe in higher self, you believe in the universe, you believe in something beyond of our knowledge and existence, then this is how you can actually connect with God deeper so that you can achieve your goals faster, you can manifest faster. And I just want to make sure that I'm not here to sell the idea of God. I'm not here to basically put you in a religion. But what I want to share in this video is that how I manifested my dream life by deepening the connection with myself and with the God. And also how I help people to really achieve the life that they want to achieve by connecting and deepening the connection with the higher self and God or universe. Because without it, your life is purposeless and then your life is miserable and then you feel like shit. Because to prove your point, if somebody wants to basically make you miserable and your life is shit. I'm not gonna say, or society or government or whatever that is. If somebody wants to take that idea into your mind, then the first thing they're gonna do is that they're gonna take away your faith. They're gonna take away that you don't believe in something higher than us. You don't believe something that magic, you don't believe that manifestation, you don't believe that there is a divine guidance, protection, that can actually change our lives. If the mission accomplished, then what's gonna happen is that you're gonna feel like shit and then you don't want to make a change. And you basically wanna stay where you are because you don't believe in magic, you don't believe in change, you don't believe in savior, you don't believe in yourself, you don't believe in faith. What we need to understand is that how we can protect ourselves and how we can deepen the connection with ourselves and with the God so that we can literally have the faith and then we can believe in yourself and then we can take the leap of faith. Imagine you're here to experience bungee jumping, right? And I've done that, and I've done that, I'm afraid of height. So it really, really frustrated me, even though I wanted to do it, I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to challenge my fear. And imagine the faith is like the harness and the protection and the, the bungee itself. And the ability to believe in ourselves, that's when you take the leap of faith, when you jump. You see, if you don't have the harness or protection, which is in this case faith or the divine protection, then you don't even take a jump. So for somebody to take away your ability to have the successful life or abundance or to feel fulfilled and purposeful rather than wasting your life away for the job that you hate or you know, thinking that you cannot do something, the first thing they're gonna do is that they're gonna take away that harness. They're gonna take away the protection. So now you're bare naked with just a clothes on and just like standing there, 100 meter high. Like who, who's gonna jump that? Because the moment you jump it, that's it. Like, we, we don't want to take the leap of faith knowing that, oh shit, yeah, we're going to die. So the result of these taking away the harness, taking away the faith from you is that you expect that you're going to die. You expect that you're going to fail. You expect that this is not going to work out. You expect that this is a stupid idea. But what if you know that this harness is 100% accurate and this is going to completely protect you? The only thing left is the ability to believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself that you can jump, because I don't know, maybe you're not afraid of height, but I am, I'm so afraid of height. So when I literally stood there and about to jump, I literally felt the insane amount of fear in every cell of my body. But I jumped because I know I'm protected. It's just fear. So imagine this is your life. You're about to take a leap of faith. You want to make a change. You want to take action. You want to get rid of all these things that you hate right now and then you really want to make a change. It's painful, you don't like it, you're struggling, you want to make more money, you want to grow your business, you want to start your business or you want to do something that you dreamed of but you feel like there is no protection. But if you look at all this idea in society, it's literally taking away your faith, taking away the harness, taking away that protection so that you're not gonna jump in the first place. And you might be feeling like, okay, sure, for you it's easy to say it, right? Maybe you probably, you know, you already have the money or whatever. But the truth is, I already took that action. I already done that because I can explain. When I was, uh, when I was, when I was starting, I moved to Amsterdam from Japan and it was 2018. I don't remember exactly the date. And I was just smoking weed every single day and I was just high like, and then I realized that, okay, why the fuck am I here? I'm not here, I moved all the way to Amsterdam to just get high. I came here to do something, I changed my life, learned something new and actually live the life that I want. So I quit that and then I, I don't smoke weed anymore, I don't do anything, I don't drink, I'm out at 6 a.m. in the morning and then I received 
this idea. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this online business. So I was like, you know what, this is it. And then I started it with the 6,000 euros in my bank account. Quit my job and I was like, I'm gonna take a risk. And it failed. I failed massively. I lost all my money in my bank account and I was flat broke, really. And I'm not attached to the history, but I remember that I was so disciplined and I believed in myself and I believed in faith. And that's why now I'm making $50,000 per month and I have a business and I'm thriving and I'm, it's actually growing. But it all started from being uncomfortable, but pushing myself and jumping from that place. And this is why you need faith. This is why you need to believe in yourself. So here's the quote from the Bible. This is one of my favorite quotes. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. You see, most of the manifestation or whatever that you want to achieve, opportunities, ideas, this is out, they are outside of your radar. They're outside of your capacity to be able to see it. Imagine this is a frame. The only thing you see are, is the whiteboard, right? So you don't see the, what is, what's in the, the behind the whiteboard. You don't see what's right there. You don't see those plants that are sitting there. You don't see my desk. Imagine this is what you can see right now in your life. How do you believe that there is a plant? How do you believe there is a yoga mat like laying down and I'm not even you know, picking up? That's why the face is the evidence of things not seen. Maybe tomorrow you're gonna to meet this amazing woman and then you're gonna fall in love and then she's gonna be the wife of yours and then she's gonna be the mother of your child. But now you don't see it because you're about to meet her tomorrow. So majority of the opportunities, majority of these ideas and people who can help you to succeed or who can help you to feel more loved, who can help you to, to be more abundant is outside of your frame. So you have to accept the fact that whatever you see or whatever you have seen before is usually not the one you want to believe. Whatever is going to happen, what is going, whatever is going to help you to achieve the goal you want to achieve is outside of your radar. You have to believe something that is not seen right now. And how do we believe that? Understanding that how you're gonna achieve it is not relevant right now. Because if you cannot see right now, then why would you get caught up and like get stressed about how am I gonna achieve this? How am I gonna meet my love of my life? How am I gonna grow my business? You just don't see it. You have to have a faith. You have to believe that it's going to work out. So the society and education system and all these things that are imprinted in the media wants to take your faith away. Because if you don't have the harness, if you don't have a faith, then you're not gonna take the jump. You, know, you just stay where you are and work for 95 and then just, you're not satisfied, you're not fulfilled, you're not fulfilling your purpose, you're not fulfilling your um, life, happiness, whatever. Because you don't have the faith, the harness and protection that you're supposed to have. But this is now all about believer and non-believer. It's about you're a believer or a non-believer. But there's a commonality in a believer and a non-believer. What do you think that is? If you believe in God, if you believe in higher self, if you believe in the universe, you're a believer. But there are people who also don't believe those kind of things. Like, ah, oh, fuck the God. The commonality is that belief. Even if they are non-believer, but they believe that God doesn't exist. There is no universe, there is no manifestation, there is no magic, there is no energy. Those are bullshit. But they believe there is no magic. They believe the God doesn't exist. Mission accomplished. So take a look at this. Ex expectation equal result. I'm gonna stand here. Expectation equal result. Maybe some of you are thinking like, no, you shouldn't expect anything because you get disappointed. That's not true. Expectation changes the result. Every single medication is going through the placebo effect. There is a test. So they use the specific language, the doctors, when they serve, when they give you the medicine, so that they can expect that medi medicine, the medication, to work for people who need the medication. Because the doctor is an authority figure, like God and someone is an authority figure, they're higher than you, right? The doctor, you instantaneously believe, okay, here's a doctor, he can help me. So you already have that mindset, you're already expecting that he can 
help me 100% because he's a doctor. So this is the way the hypnosis comes in. It has a hypnotic effect. So you already set your mindset and tap into that mind that way you're expecting the result to work. So that's why you will get the result from the medication and medicine. But what if you expect the completely opposite? Well, you look like a, you, you're a bullshit. You look like a fake doctor. I don't think you can help me. Well, here you go, that's a medicine. And then you're like, oh, I hate that doctor. I don't think he can help me. Take medicine. It's not gonna work out. Because your brain can literally hallucinate based on your prior expectation and prediction. Your brain can change how your body adapts to the symptoms or the specific genetic expressions and chemical production in your body to match with your expectation. And this is why when you have that negative window, negative perspective to see the world or see yourself, that's exactly what's happening in your brain. Your brain is changing and adapting to bring the validation, to bring the evidence to validate that expectation so that you get exactly what you expected. So if you change the mindset, if you change the way you see the world, have more faith and believe in yourself rather than believing in, oh, the God doesn't exist, I don't have a protection, I don't think it's gonna work out. Instead, it's gonna work out. Everything actually will work out. My mantra is everything works out just fine. Whatever happens, oh, okay, shit, I lost a lot of money. Oh shit, didn't work out. Well, everything works out just fine. Just because it's a part of the process, there's something I need to learn, move on. You can change your belief system, you can change your reality. Because 99% of your, all of the decisions and all of the things that comes into your life, all of the things that you see and hear subconsciously is based on the paradigm, belief system, what do you believe? So circle back to the most important key of this video is that can you believe in yourself? Because imagine that bungee jump is your life and now you have a faith. Now you have a faith that you can believe the things that are not seen. I can see that. I can see something, but it's not here. But I can see that it's coming. I can see the pot potential. I can see the possibilities. I can believe there's a protection, there's a guidance. But I'm afraid to take a leap of faith. I'm afraid to jump because there's a fear. That's why you need to understand the concept that comes from Shinto. Hear me out. The Shinto is the belief that is developed in Japan. And we go to the shrines, right? And we gate, and there's a gate like that. It's called Tori. And then we bow, and then we step into, and then there's a, there's a shrine. And we do this ritual, which is Nile ni Hakushu Ichire. Two bows, two clap, pray, and one bow. And then you leave. If you look at, pay attention to the shrines, there's a mirror. There's a mirror, probably this shape, the circle, the round. And every shrine has a mirror. The reason why that we face mirror and pray is because this is a reflection of yourself. So we are praying to ourselves because in Shinto, we believe that a God exists within you. You are the God himself. And every religion, they talk about there's a God within you. Each one of you guys, there's a God within. In Shinto, what we believe is that there's a God within and you need to pray, you need to appreciate. And this is the reason why at the end of the vow, at the end of the ritual, you vow and it's a 45 degree. Maybe you've seen, you've seen Japanese people vow everywhere. It's like, hi, hi. It's like, that's what we do. We just like, we're like, we're like a pigeons. Like we just like live like that every day. <laughs> that's what the Japanese people do. We're just like, we're going to cross the street like that. <laughs> and so the first two vows, it's 45 degrees, like, like that, right? And then you do it twice. And then we clap, pray. The last vow is 90 degrees. Well, you see probably people doing like that, but you don't see people doing 90 degrees. Well, if you go to the hotels or these traditional um, Japanese places, they'll show you the 90 degrees instead of 45 because that's the highest respect. The 90 degree vow represents the highest respect. So we are paying that highest respect. We are giving the highest respect to who? To ourselves. So that's why self-love is important. That's why you have to be confident. That's why I have to you believe in yourself because there's a divinity within you. You can do it if you expect that yourself that you can do it. If you have the faith, 
knowing that everything works out, even if it's going to be difficult, if you have the faith and if you can push yourself to pay the highest respect for yourself, I respect myself because I know I can do it. There is something that within me, I know I can push myself, I can be disciplined, I can be dedicated, I believe in myself. Then you take the jump. But if you cannot respect yourself fully, if you cannot love yourself fully, if you cannot see the potential within you, if you cannot believe that you can do the same as others, there's shit tons of millionaires. There's shit tons of people happy. There's shit tons of people that's abundant and successful and happy and fulfilled and purposeful. And you can do the same thing. But the one thing that is going to hold you back is yourself because you don't believe in the God within you. You're not connected with the God within you. If you really pay attention to all these beautiful things about you already have and the things that you may not see right now, you feel more connected with them because the more you focus on the things that you can only see, you feel more separated because the only thing you can see doesn't fulfill you at the end of the day. What fulfills you the most is the connection. What fulfills you the most that the person you're becoming who you are becoming, the story, that emotion that you feel every day, the thought process you have, and the gratitude and this sense of purpose. Everything you can't see it, but that fulfills you the most every single day. And this is the reason why I teach hypnosis and I hypnotize people and I teach meditations because these are the only tool for you to change the code of your subconscious. This is the only tool if you have the limiting beliefs, if you have the limiting uh, beliefs around your money, around self-image, around, uh, around a success, abundance, then you partially, part of you, and part of you is holding you back. Part of you is standing on your way. And this is why you need to hypnotize yourself differently. Otherwise, society or education system or somebody else is going to hypnotize you to take this away so that you don't believe nothing. And therefore, you become a non-believer that you don't believe in yourself and then you don't pay attention to the divinity within you. You don't believe, pay attention to the God within you. You don't respect or you don't appreciate what is within. So if you're still watching, I want you to really pay attention to things that you cannot see. Use this mantra, everything works out just fine, no matter what. If you quickly go into negative spiral of thinking and overthinking, take yourself back and then say that everything works out just fine whatever happened what it is what it is i'm learning from this experience but i'm moving on and have faith and connect with yourself and connect the god within because this is how you can achieve your goals and this is exactly how you can change your life all right with that said i genuinely hope that this message resonates with you and i genuinely hope that this will help you to take a different actions and if you're ready to change your life, if you want to grow your business, if you want to quit your nine to five and really start your business or change your life, then apply from the link in the description and I'll hope to see you very, very soon. And if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. And I want you to know that you're going through it by yourself. You're, you might feel alone going through your journey and feeling struggling and feeling stuck, but I want you to know that everyone goes through this journey. I go through my journey alone. But we all in this together. We're doing this together as a team. So you got this, and we got this. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.